Hi, welcome back. Just jumping on quickly to introduce my next video, which is a bit different to the videos I normally do. So throughout the seven weeks of my holidays, we had some amazing times and we had some tricky times. And I didn't pick up the camera to film a specific video as such, but we did film small parts of our summer holidays. Obviously the Disney vlogs and the main day outs have already gone out as their own videos but I just wanted to share this video with you as a sort of montage, if you will, of our summer holidays. The highs and the lows and everything in between and just to let you know if you struggle with the summer holidays you're not alone. Now, for those of you who don't know, and this is the first video of mine you're watching, my older son Ryan is non-verbal autistic and so the summer holidays can be very challenging for him with the lack of routine and he really does struggle with not being at school, which is... You'll see what happened in the video anyway. But yeah, so I hope you find this video helpful or relatable and if you like my content please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you! Hi guys, so today is Monday the 7th of August, we're about two and a half weeks into the seven week school holidays and I just wanted to give you a quick look at Ryan's room and as you'll see it's changed a little bit since last time we were in here. So the first thing is the curtains have had to come, well, have came down because Ryan was climbing on the windowsill, grabbing hold of the curtains and swinging off onto his bed. So obviously when he did that the curtains came down. And because he was doing that, we haven't put them back up because we didn't think it was safe. Also behind me here, you'll see up there, there's a big gouge out the plaster. That is where he was climbing up on top of here. And he's been eating the plaster out of the wall. Because Ryan's diagnosed with picker, that is an uncontrollable urge to eat items that aren't food, which for Ryan, at this moment is the plaster in the walls. This is triggered by anxiety because of the school holidays, because there's no routine, he doesn't know what he's doing. The uh, biggest thing from last night is he now has no bed. He's broken his bed, so he's got a mattress on the floor. What happened was he had a metal bed frame, so it was a sturdy bed with welded metal bed slats, but he bounced on it so much that all the bed slats snapped off. So obviously they're sharp and if there's no bed slats you can't have his bed. So we've dismantled the bed to take to the tip and at the moment he's got a mattress on the floor. I don't know what to do. I want him to have a nice room, but at the same time I need it to be safe and I don't want to be replacing things all the time because they're getting broken. So if anybody has any ideas on what to do, please let me know in the comments. But yes, also there is a cabinet that was there that is now there, which we've had to remove from his room because it was on top of that toy box but he was climbing up it and it was becoming unsafe. So we've had to take that out too. One day when I look back on these videos, I'll be able to see how far we've come and what we've like managed to achieve with Ryan. But right now, when I'm like in the thick of it, it's not much fun. As you can see, all he has in his room now is a mattress on the floor and the toy box. We've had to take everything else out because he was just climbing on it and jumping off it and it wasn't safe. If we come out here, which is a state, 
um, just let me switch the light on so you can see. We've got his chest of drawers here. See, he was climbing on top of that, jumping off. We've got the calyx out here because he was climbing on top of that, jumping off. This was all the way up to here, but we've had to move it because he was climbing on top of that and jumping off. And with it being right on the banister, as you can see, that's a pretty long way to fall. <laughs> We're trying really hard just to keep him safe. This is all because of school holidays and the lack of routine and he just doesn't know what to do with himself and he can't regulate. Well, it was a very wet bee. It's trying to escape. How many fish is that you've caught? Two! Two fish. No, two more to go. Two more to go. Did Grandad help you on that one? No. You did it all by yourself? Yeah. Well done. Well done. Ethan has been fishing with Grandad and he's caught some fish. Yeah. Shall we have a look? Yeah. So did you like fishing? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I want to go fishing one day again. You want to go again? Yeah. Oh wow, lots of fish. We have, oh my, they are slimy. One fish. Oh, oh, oh. Two fish. And, oh, there's another one. Oh, I'm getting filthy. Three fish, they're huge, Ethan. Happy cheese. Wow. And they've got eyes. They've got eyes. All right, stop touching them and wiping it on your jumper. <laughs> uh, don't wipe it on the seats. <laughs> so yesterday, you'll have saw Ethan caught some fish. Um, and I'm just gonna, we ate one last night with him, but I'm gonna prep these two. Now that I know how to do it, I've had a lesson off my father. Um, I'll show you what I did. They were gutted from the fish farm, so I didn't have to gut them, but the rest I believe I have to, oh my God, they're so slimy. Um, they all the gross bits. Oh. Look at the gills. They always I always think they look so funny. Maybe where we chop it. Mama! What? Uh, don't touch because your hands are all clean. Do we chop it there? Right, stand back because mummy's got a big knife. One, two, three. Well, granddad did that and it cut. Why is it not cutting for me? We'll have to do it the sorry way. Our disclaimer, not a fisherwoman, never done this before, so... I'm chopping its head off. Stand back. One, two, three. Okay, that doesn't work. Play. We're not eating them both tonight, but I'm doing them both now. And then I only have to do it once and I can clean this. I am chopping the fish's head off. Look, head off. Oh, are you sad to poor fish? 
fish. Yeah. Yeah. It's my turn. The fish wants to swim, does it? Yeah. Not this one. This one wants to be our dinner. Yeah. Yeah? Are you going to try it tonight? No. No, you didn't try it last night, did you? No, no, no. No, you did not. <laughs> Ryan, what's this? <laughs> did the banister taste nice? <laughs> Is it tasty? <laughs> Jessica's been having tattoos on. We've got her tummy. Her legs then we've got this one pull your shirt down now this one on her arm this one on put your head up this one on her head up put your chin up <laughs> tattooed princess This is where the ducks are gonna come and finish. We should They'll be caught up there. Okay. They're gonna come from under there. <laughs> oh, is that net big enough? <laughs>
Oh, look, here's a batch. <laughs> oh, who's going to win this one? Right, we're waiting for the final ducks. We're going to see who wins the money, aren't we, Ethan? Do you think you're going to win? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to win. Did you enjoy the duck race? Yeah. Do you think you've won? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Have you won? No, no, no. Oh no. Have I won? No, no, no. No, I've not won. No. <laughs> <laughs> Today is going to be a long day. Ryan's been up since three and Rob is working late tonight. So he won't be back till after the kids are in bed. Long day. Yesterday was a pretty dramatic day. Ryan was up 3am. Not ideal. But he decided to uh, that yesterday was the day he was going to free our friends. Their aunts. So, if you don't know, we have a little ant house. Nah, it's all the ants. Um, and Ryan disconnected their water, so it was over here. So there was a hole for the ants to get out. First I knew of it is I was sat on the table having a cup of tea and an ant came walking over to me. And I was like, oh my God, where is that from? And so I came and had a look and he had dis opened the cage and some had escaped. Rob was working late last night, so he didn't get home till like quarter past 11. So obviously I bathed the kids, put them to bed. So after their bath, Ryan went in his bedroom and I took Ethan and Jessica into their room to put them to sleep first. And so while I was in there putting them to sleep, I heard a smash and I was like, oh my God, I know what that is, went running into Ryan's room. And what had happened is this lovely cross stitch that his grandma made, he picked it up, laid it on his bedroom floor and started hitting it with his hands. And then he'd, there's bits of glass still on there. Um, and then he'd smash the glass, cut, his fingers which wasn't fun so I then had to try and tidy all that up and sort out his fingers that he didn't need stitches or anything they weren't badly cut but they were cut and then because of that little incident he was super hyper super wired and so didn't actually go to sleep till 20 to 10 last night which is mental. 
Um, but yeah, so not a fun day yesterday. <laughs> so that about sums up our summer holidays. Quite the ordeal, adventure. I don't know what words to use, however you want to put it. But I just want to say thank you for watching. Hope you found it entertaining or useful in some way. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.